Oh my goodness. Let's Hi. Go. Let's Hi, get it. guys. I like this That's dress, Lens. You. you look cute. Right? Yeah, right. yeah you look like a little, little sweetness. Uh, yeah, you look like a little you have sweet a little, cutie. little shoulder pads in there or no? Um, I don't you know, know if they're shoulder kinda... pads as much as like a bloused sleeve. Mm. Blouse sleeve, okay. Yeah, I know nothing about wood. You're, you're familiar oh, with yeah, a blouse sleeve. You don't know about I've had to cross them. Every Come on. Now and again. Yeah. What? I prefer mm -hmm. my blouses off. Yeah. When you wear your pantaloons, you go ahead and wear your blouse sleeves. Exactly. Oh, Absolutely. Right. You right, got to right. balance the top with the bottom. Totes. With the, yeah, Does with the, the carpet match the drapes? Carpet match the drapes. The, that's the, that's I said the, it wrong on yeah. the last podcast. You, yeah. You got it. All right. Um, what episode are we doing? We <laughs> are on detention. The episode is detention. Mm -hmm. You guys watched it? Yeah. Y yes. I hope it's so. Good. It's actually one of my favorite moments for my character in this episode. It's what huh. moment? When I say word. You say word? word. You just go word? Did you, did watch, you watch the, the episode? episode? I, I did. When do you say word? Yeah, which one though? Tell me. So y'all get into that paper airplane thing, yeah, right? Uh -huh. And then you stand up for him. And so he's like, Big B, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and he's yeah. like, yeah, Jennifer, he's like, one more word one from oh, you. Yeah, I, thought, no, that was I, thought, fine, yeah. I thought you were saying Mo said word. like word. And I was yeah. like, when did Mo yeah. speak and she, like word? Down to like ride with her boys. Yeah, yeah. I did, I did love that moment. moment. So yeah, yeah. this episode, uh, Cookie makes a perfect paper airplane. Perfect. It It gets taken by a gust of wind in front of Sweeney, which... Uh, means Cookie threw it. He sends Cookie to detention. Ned's standing right there. Ned stands up for him. He yeah. gets detention. And then he threatens Moe's, if you say one word, you'll get it too. And he, you're like, I'll ride with my He almost walked away. Will. Word. Yep. Uh, so we all get detention. Yep. We're scared of the eighth graders who are mm -hmm. in detention. Yeah. Even Bully Loomer is afraid of these guys. Yeah. Um, Our bully is afraid of the bullies. Yeah. Where we're going. And so we need to survive them. Moe's kind of disappears in this episode. Yeah. You get taken out to go clap a racer right. and you're just oh, out. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gone. Peace. You have a light episode. I absolutely loved all of your little shenanigans to get out of there. The paperclip thing and you guys like waving back. Yeah, and oh, the yeah. scooting forward. Yeah. I did find a lot of these like gags to be funny. Like I enjoyed it. Absolutely and they hold foolish, up. Though. Like they're they're but. they're intricate, but they're simple and like yeah, we got to see P. Cookie They're for the first time. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. And you know what? P. Cookie, so P. Cookie, for those who don't know, was like this alter ego, like rapper for, for Cookie. You know, Cookie's a nerdy guy. He's just making gadgets all the time, getting himself out of trouble that way. But somehow he musters up the confidence to just remake himself, reinvent himself as this- As uh, a bad boy. Bad boy. I guess we didn't actually call you P. Cookie in this episode. You were just like Cookie, baddest boy in Polk. But this was the first- like we... it gets expanded on later, so it was nice to see. I forgot how early we put you in like a velour jumpsuit. Oh and, yeah, that and thing was fresh. You... I felt yeah. so cool. And I you walk, so cool. dude, you walk different. Oh yeah, yeah. Totally. To. I love, I love, no, no, I love is, Swagger Cookie. This is what I love. Um, when when at, in the lunchroom, the kid come Quirly, right, comes up to you and asks for an autograph. Oh yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you would do this, especially when you had those <laughs> rings on. Yeah, yeah. You shoo Quirly away. It. With your shoe, with your bling the ring, the shoe was my favorite. Get out of here. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You you, you that did that SP cookie a lot. Exactly. Yeah, that was a move. That was my thing. Yeah. Yeah. You really adopted like a different uh, persona, persona yeah. vibe. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. You really and, brought it. And then they just did not give one crap. The eighth graders didn't care. No, they didn't care. They, they were out for my no glasses. good. That was, was all bad. That was terrible. brutal. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was brutal. <laughs> like. Oh man. Yeah, that was a little too bad. In this episode is our first time introducing. Lonnie Love, oh, the Oracle so Lunch it's Lady. In the beans, it's in baby. the beans. It's in the beans, baby. baby. It's in the peas, oh, baby. She's, she's so is good. A force. That's she's it. so funny. Lonnie yeah. Love. I've been to her comedy shows. Dude, like, I love it. that is a hilarious and great person. Yeah, she's awesome. She she would make Scott laugh. Like she would make Scott. Uh, there was like a blooper where she says something and Scott's just like cracking up. Yeah. Bruh. Um. Yeah, yeah, she's the best. This was cool. I mean, you're not even in this episode, basically, Lindsay. How dare you? It is still. <laughs> I, I still get credited for this episode. Yeah. Oh, right. Hey, yeah. But it, it um, was you and me. Uh, there were some lines I loved on the inside. Only the strong survive. Mm -hmm. Referring to detention, that makes me laugh. Uh, and that was coming from Chopsaw when he's giving us, actually, you were in that part of the episode. Chopsaw is reminding us to be oak. Oh, I'm yeah. Oak. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, no, 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 like oak. And I say to you at the end, I'm oak. Like, yes. that's it's so nonchalant. And then his that arm gag, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, that was a good he, one. He that had. was awesome. I'll be screaming at the top of my, my lungs nose. until da da da. Yeah, he said, all right, everyone, put in your earplugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be screaming at the top of my lungs. For the rest of the day, yeah. until school is over. Yeah, and he also, I thought he just crushed that whole episode. 
he also says, I'm like, oh, am I oak too? He's like, not you, chipmunk. She's oak. You're, You're more drip. like kindling. Drift. Oh, yeah. kindling. That's kindling. what yeah. driftwood is. Kindling. Kindling. Yeah, kindling. Dave, and when Dave you Follett. say that line, drift, wait, that was actually the elective. That was yeah. way back. Yeah, that's the witch When you, when you said, um, <laughs> we love all types of wood. Balsa, yeah. balsa, blah, 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 blah. Drift. drift. Yeah, and I had the little squeaky little yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drift. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, Chop Saw's the man. Uh, I've seen him on Seinfeld a f few times, like since mm -hmm. I've rewatched Chop Saw. Yeah. That, this actually happens a lot. Has it happened to you guys? It's happened since Ned's. I mean, pretty often I'm watching something and I'm like, oh my God, they were on Ned's. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, Ned's yeah. gave a lot of people their start. Yeah. 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 Well, and like, and older actors who like, I'll see something, uh, Don uh, Sweeney, oh, yeah, he was working. in Leon the Professional. Dude. Like he's in the hallway in Leon the Professional. I just saw like a clip someone was posting of Natalie Portman in that. And like, it's Don in the hallway, I'm pretty sure. I was like, mm -hmm. what? This man has been around. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I always find it cool when I'm like, oh. And yeah, Seinfeld has happened where I'm like, oh, that's Chop Saw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, that's Dave. Yep. Um, yeah, acting is a cool profession in that sense, especially just working on a show for, you know, that many years um, where you're finding you're seeing all these people in their other projects. And it's like, dang, what brought you to this moment where you're working with yeah, us here? And mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes me feel whenever I see it, I just feel like even more grateful for like our it's like, oh, wow. Yeah. What? All of our careers brought us to this special weird moment on Neds, mm -hmm. and like you're all and it's not going anywhere. We'll see this forever, mm -hmm. and it's always an anchor, like of yeah. sorts. Yep. Um, we have more in this episode. Just Jim J, Mr. Monroe, just being <laughs> unbelievable. Him fighting the paper airplane with the baby. <gasps> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Cool. one of the best, best dude. Things. Anytime you let Jim J just go and like break shit and be big and be yeah, big. Yeah. And give him the the like motivation to be big. Oh my goodness, I loved that so much. Larger I, re I reround that and watch that again. It, it's great because he plays this like uh, you know dainty voice and everything or whatever. He's supposed to look kind of like fragile, but his movements are so aggressive yeah. and big. I'm like yo, yeah, great, yeah. He's man. literally. I love that it's with the baby too. He's yeah. literally like knocking shit over, using it as a weapon to get out of this paper airplane. And that was a fun little gag, the paper airplane going through the entire episode. Oh yeah, the that way, was really that was cool. the way they did that effect, that the practical line. effect of it, just tying it onto like the string. Yeah, there's and a it was just, mm -hmm. and it you, was just going around the whole. Did you see episode. the blooper where it didn't make it across the frame? Oh, and just stops right there. Yeah, yeah. the okay. paper airplane just sits in the middle of the plane yeah. or the middle of the frame. So. Um, yeah, this was a fun one. Um, that was some cool, r real, not CGI airplane stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, we did very little special effects on Ned's or, or visual effects, unless it's like the computer right. stuff. Like, yeah, the computer cookies. Yeah, the fart, yeah. The fart yeah. bubble. But we would do a lot of practical shit. If, yeah. they could, if they could do, if they could pull it off, yeah, they would go practical. Yeah, fun, man. which was really fun. Um, this episode is detention. Did you guys get in trouble in school? Not really. You're I was pretty straight edge, man. Not even gonna lie to you. Um, I went to detention like for random stuff, but usually it was. Well, why would I go to detention when I played football? If you uh, if you didn't like meet certain requirements, they would make you go sit in detention like randomly. So that like was if like you a, didn't like do a push up or what? Uh, no. With if, your grades? Well, it was uh, usually with your grades uh, in school, like. But but my grades were always solid. Why did I? Something took place. <laughs> something took place where I did not show. I didn't show up for some project assignment and something like that, and I ended up in detention. I remember that was like weird, but it, yeah. it, it was it was not a crazy detention. And I was a football yeah. player, so it wasn't like I was in there with people who were gonna do anything. Yeah. To yeah, yeah. I'll get in trouble for talking. I got good grades and teachers liked me because I was like usually engaged with the work because I actually liked school, but I was like kind of class clowny and like talked a lot. Mm -hmm. But my rule was if, or my my intuition was if I can make the teacher laugh, she can only get me in trouble so much. So the goal was like, if, it's, if I'm gonna say some shit, it better be enough to make the teacher know that it's funny. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I definitely got in trouble for uh, just talking too much. Wow, so I was teacher's pet. 100%. Were you? Oh my gosh. Every teacher I ever had not would in, say that. Not in our class no, no, with not Scott Clinton. Not, no. not while being tutored on Ned. You the bad guy. Yeah. Me? Yeah, yeah, you would fight with Scott. You guys were contentious, <laughs> dude. I mean, what? Well, Remind you, me. She was rambunctious. Yes. I, I think she, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, and he loved all of us. So, yeah. so, um, Listeners at home, you would push those net net heads. Did I? That's the yes. way I recall. It. So yeah. on set, oh. on set, uh, we 
as kids have to do school on set. You have to do three hours of school a day. You can only work 10 hours a day and you three hours of that have to be school. So yeah. anytime we're not filming, we are being rushed back to the school room and you can only build them in 20 minute blocks. So like if there was 20 minutes, you're going and getting school because that's the game that the production has to play. Um, all the other cast members had like their own teachers and the three of us had our tutor. Um, and for the second and third season, we had a guy named Scott Plimpton, who's still a friend of mine. Love Scott. Oh, the um, best set teacher or in he, teacher. He is like, such... I remember so many teachings, not even from books, just life. Life. He, gave. he really is. And the, he cared. He, he is the epitome of like a good educator. Like yes. he cared about us as people not just the schoolwork, he wanted us to do the schoolwork well, but he wanted us to be good. He made us those protein shakes in the morning. He did, Dang. that's sweet. Those chocolate Enjoy. protein yeah. shakes with the banana. Yeah. I know, yeah. he's a sweetheart. He, he wanted us to be healthy. Fantastic. He wanted yeah. to make sure we were taken care of on set, and yeah. then he wanted to make sure we were learning. Yeah. Um, and Lindsay was not teacher's Wait, friend. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you guys, I literally forget. Was it like over assignments that I would be upset? Nah, you would just like fight him on shit. Like the way he talked? And whatever was there for whatever you to was there, argue whatever with but yeah. I can't even imagine oh, myself this is great. like that. Yeah, because I believe you that in school you weren't that. In our school you were that. Just whatever <laughs> button, because you know Scott's like so nice and so caring and so particular. I can't even that. Think. There's just a and and actually, you know, we're kids on the show, so the other adults are 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 um they're in the industry. We got grips, we got electricians. Producers, they're aware that like on the industry, even though we're kids, like we're saying cuss words. We're there's like a, a level of like, hey, it's all good. But Scott, as our teacher, he felt there's certain boundaries he didn't want us to cross as like uh -huh. kids and adults yeah. that get crossed on set that are just like yeah. us saying whatever the fuck we want. And like <laughs> and you Do you guys have an example? Because I literally Swear can't. words is one of them. He started to say we couldn't say swear words in the classroom. And anytime you did, you had to like put money in a jar and you <laughs> would say those swear words. Every time. <laughs> Take the money. Just just to uh, just to get a rise out of Scott. Like literally. You were you were not the teacher's pet with Scott. You would press wow. his buttons. Wow. I don't even actively. know why I did that. I think it was just to get to like, get a rise. Attention yeah. yes. and a rise out of all of you. That's why. That's so. Remember the day I pantsed you and he sent me back to my room for the rest of the day. <laughs> you you just asked for me to give you an example, and you had that one ready. ready you're yeah, aware. Right. Of, you're aware. Example. Yeah, but like the that, rest of it's kind of like blocked. Okay, that that thing. It was all of them. Yeah, Scott's like, don't you? And you just pants me, and he's like, <laughs> Which, "Get out!" <laughs> I cannot believe like that is just like my brain flip flop. That is just so not me. Yeah, not even to this day. Like, well. You know. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, it's like just it, was good -hearted, though. it was good hearted. Yeah. yeah. Antagonizing yeah. teachers. And to be honest, antagonizing Scott Plimpton is fun because he's, <laughs> he's so pure and he, he has so much compassion and he really does care about you. So it's kind of a fun man to And poke. he makes it like dumb. You know what I mean? He yes. just makes everything like, like he, he doesn't care to be, like, doesn't care if he looks dumb in front of you. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And then that usually makes you break. And yeah. Yeah, he's just too wholesome. Too yeah, wholesome he's for so words. wholesome, and you he's decided great. to take advantage of that, which I, it was such a fun dynamic. I mean, being in the schoolroom together with, a, I don't know, I found it really like fun. It's That's like very, either we we're filming time. together or we're in there sometimes doing schoolwork, sometimes Daniel, just kind of fucking around. You didn't, you didn't do schoolwork when what? we were in there. I didn't do schoolwork. How no, not? no, no. Go ahead. Wouldn't it take you a minute to do it? To do it? Wouldn't no. he put it off? Wasn't he a procrastinator? I don't Me? remember. No. It's possible. With your math and like with anything, wouldn't it take you a minute? Like, I feel not like because I'm... you were anything other than like just like not doing. I thought you were like you were learning pen fifteen on your phone and stuff. Really? Yeah. No, I mean, I or your calculator. I treated uh I treated school like like it was like mandatory like I had to do it and do it. I don't well. know why I have that. No, if I of finished him. something and told Scott that hey yo I, I don't have anything to work on this morning I'm not gonna do it then I would probably not. I do think it, that's yeah. what would happen is like Daniel would get it done, done some of the time and then just have to be in there for school and then like, I, I, I really do remember really you like spinning right. in your chair and just like fucking. I do around. remember that like yeah. I do. Scott had a hard job. Wrangling, yeah. three wrangling. It's really actor wrangling. kids who are on set, hopped up on sugar, mm -hmm. hopped up on validation and attention. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Hopped up on hormones with the other children. Yep. Uh, and he has to like actually get us to learn something. And use 20 minutes efficiently. 
Right, which is yeah. so difficult. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get in there for five minutes. And he's got to check on all of us on these different subjects that we're doing because we weren't studying That's the same. We're in different grades. Lindsay's yeah. two years older you, you than us. You were doing yeah. the Iliad, the Odyssey. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a there was a section of that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I was doing that homeschool program. I forget what it was called, Laurel Springs, but they oh, really, they really didn't teach well. La, 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 <laughs> they really didn't teach well. They really didn't teach well. And first of all, I'm much. only like a month and a year and four months older than y'all. Okay, not two mm. years. Yeah. To be fair. <laughs> I mean, Come on, you're acting like there's an eternity between us. <laughs> you're old. It's a year <laughs> and four months. You're fucking old. I'm fucking old. <laughs> face it. Face all it. Facts. I will face it. Young cross, hag. cross every Damn. threshold. Daniel and I are Sooner. still young. Oh, yeah. Young stallions. <laughs> Dang. That's fair, though. You're Cause, old. Because uh, a year dusty. for a woman is like 10. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm 10 years older you're than past, you guys. You're past ripeness, baby. <laughs> no, Dang. No, See what I mean? No bueno. Harsh. <laughs> yeah. No, no, don't fall into that. Don't fall into it. <laughs> No, no, it was all fun. Women, it's okay to be old. old of course. Is, old of is course. good. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Old is better than the alternative, which is dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that the alternative? Or sick? <laughs> oh, that got dark. <laughs> What's been beautiful in my life is Scott was my tutor on set. I was a I was a boy and he was like a a, a good friend and educator and a particular role in my life. And then I didn't go to high school. I was homeschooled through that. So uh, Scott would like tutor me sometimes when I needed help. Mm. And so he was that to me for so long. And then as I've gotten older, like now he's my friend. Like we're friends. Like Scott Plimpton is now my friend. And I'm so grateful that I've known him this long. I'm so grateful I've known him for 20 years. I'm so grateful like that he's in my life because he he has stayed this person that we knew like yeah oh. he just he's just a good man he just cares like from a genuine he place this, but what i loved about scott is like he like the pure innocence of him just permeates everything yeah and the fact that he hasn't lost that or it hasn't been compromised he's, he has stayed pretty so damn special. innocent you know like i come back from like burning man and shit and like tell him stories and he's still Pretty innocent, man. Yeah. Pretty innocent. Yeah. Like you did what, Devin? And non-judgmental. <laughs> With you? Really? Yeah, but non- With non- who? Non- what? non-judgmental. With who? Man. Yeah. Really, really. really how, how did he punish us? Like, like it was, dog was, treats. Dog. Tr- oh. yeah, yeah, we shouldn't put that on there. Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, never mind. No, never we should not. No, it's make, funny. Make it's hilarious. Me leave. Yeah, he, he would, would just kick you out because you were causing problems. He's like, you're chaos. Get out. Can you believe? Like, yeah. I mean. Oh, and sitting on the wall was a thing too. Oh, that was more that was like our fun. Detention. I thought yeah, we were I supposed to do it. that for physical. Yeah, activity. we were doing that for physical. Like we were like trying to. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Yeah. Oh yeah, you were. And the push-ups you just too. it was punishment to you. <laughs> yeah, to a degree. To a degree. But eh, yeah, hey, we didn't really get reprimanded. It's not really. I mean, he was good. You. It's a weird thing being a teacher for kid actors because yeah, you have to you strike do? a balance of like you can't just put us in our place. Like we're higher on the pecking order like yeah, it's we're, tough, it's there's tough, a hierarchy tough, on set and I we're don't, higher on it right i don't i don't look at it like that what i look at it he like does is he knows <laughs> right but i don't yeah yeah he is going to compromise our job if he comes down if he doesn't strike that balance right right and and that's what i mean i don't like i don't see it as that i see it, him compromising another part of the machine Yes. That that is a that face of the machine. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. So like. No, you're right. Got to be clear. Like, you're right. You know yeah. I mean? He can't. Sometimes a teacher has to like scold a student. Exactly. And put them in their place in a particular way that you can't do with and, an actor who has I, to go film. I think what you're but trying you to say is the priorities that, of that is like higher. Um, that's what I'm trying to say. The priority of the face is you know. We love him. Like he was so good at good to us at striking fair. that balance. Fair. fair. Dude. That is one thing I would say about him. Fair, and, and he did for fun uh, make us eat dog treats. But that yeah. was that was more like a fun. <laughs> that was more like a fun thing. We, even we Scott did it. Even Scott to. Fellows did it. Yeah, 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 like Scott came in and ate it. Yeah, well, yeah. It, what was funny is it was these mini milk bone treats for dogs that said like there's different flavors. So it it also became this thing of like which flavor, flavor tastes the like? best. And turns out that's just marketing and food yeah, guy. And they don't they taste all taste like kind of like cardboard. I didn't even mind them. They didn't even have a flavor. They didn't taste like anything. They didn't taste like anything. I think Scott wanted them to taste worse than they did and laugh at our responses. And honestly, they were fine. I could have eaten those on a 
on a tight day. You no, know? <laughs> on a tight day, I need the protein. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I, I could have got some gains off dog it. treats. I remember thinking, like, dry. I'm going to show them that I can eat as many. Jo- I'm not going to eat any more of these. I yeah. just tried not to eat. Like that was. I just went in. I was like, give me every flavor, Scott. I don't care about this. You can't. You can't challenge me. This isn't fear factor. You know what I mean? This I was ain't trying survivor. to rise to the case. Okay, you're gonna have to couldn't. get. You're gonna have to get more traumatizing if you want to scare me. Dang. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, um, Fun story. Scott Plimpton. He would. He like had a camera at that time with the dog treat day. So like yeah. he wanted to film people's reactions eating them. He like found that footage. Oh no! I gotta see I, it. I, I I saw a video of like he gets Scott Fellows to do it, and of course, Scott's Fellows comes up, the creator like of champ. the show. He comes up. He's like, what, what the fuck are you guys all laughing about? And like. It was something with the dog treats and we're all eating dog treats and like, we're gonna see how. And of course, Scott just like shoves his hand in, like eats a fucking handful and walks away. Like, gee, man, what a G. Scott was the, Scott mic could never be. Walk. Yeah, dro- mic yeah, drop, yeah. eat all of them, peace out. Yep. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, Yo. but previous to Scott Plimpton. Mary Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> wait, oh, oh, wait, wait, maybe, what... I mean, not that she's a bad person. It's no, just, no, but. Wait, 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 wait. I only remember Patty Foy. Patty oh, Foy was Patty incredible. Foy was Patty great. Foy, beautiful, yeah. incredible. No, no, you don't remember Mary Ellen? I remember, I remember a little bit now that you say okay. it. She Mar- was mean? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, but we yeah. were doing a little rolling around. Okay, on the, like, okay Mary yeah, Ellen. Sure was the school teacher we had for these episodes. She was the first season school teacher and she did not last the first season because she could not strike the balance that Scott struck. She was not, yeah, no, no, no. She couldn't hang with us. I was just trying to reprimand like really hard. She couldn't hang with us. We all antagonized her because honestly, she was like, I remember. And I feel like antagonizing. I feel like you stood up for me or something like that. And this was the first time I was like, this is pretty all right. Yeah, no, 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 She she was not fair. Like not yeah, being no, fair, no. overly harsh, not striking this balance. I do remember that. Yeah. She wow. like she was being oh ridiculous God, so about much. something. She was just like unfair. Like she really was. And we kind of collectively, re- collectively said, we're gonna realize ruin. like fuck that. <laughs> we're gonna yeah. ruin we're gonna get you fired. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, kind of, it did not work. It needed it, to happen. It, 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 it was, was a mutiny. It, it, we, it was a yeah, mutiny. Yep, we, yep, yep. we committed mutiny against Mary For all the right she reasons, tried, though. All for the, the right iron hands. Yeah, not <laughs> Braddish. I, I, I barely remember it, but I do now that you're saying it, there's a little bit that's like. It, it does make me feel a little evil and good. I, I, it's just like <laughs> a weird thinking back on like, oh my God, we as children just committed a mutiny against have this Have to stand adult. up for ourselves. You're working with children in well, a very vulnerable environment. And yeah. like, it's you the have thing to make we them talking, feel safe. It doesn't thing, matter if she was good, bad person. She didn't mesh with us. It's the thing we were talking you know? about. Also, we're on set. We have to go have fun and vibe and like be on camera and know, like yeah. it is a weird balance you have to strike. And she just tried like to be weird and stern with us. And we all yeah. decided, no, nope. nope. no. Uh, and then we got Patty Foy who was also really amazing. Lovely. Yeah, uh, I awesome. think she just like wasn't around for the second season. She like probably somehow went to we got show Scott. Yeah, yeah, I think she was just on something else because we really love Patty. Yeah. Um, but thank God we got Scott. Mm-hmm. Like because that man. Patty would write us notes. Yeah, mm. she would write and little like like, just nice like supportive things. notes. Mm-hmm. Like she would. Uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, Patty was an angel. Yeah. There are good teachers and there are bad teachers. There are good teachers and then there are more exclusive teachers who only work for a short, smaller amount of people. Yeah, mm. yeah, that 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 didn't go down for us. I wonder what the other classroom was like because that was more kids. Like, Honestly, we had that just us three. Like hell. The other one had all fun. the extras who were underage, uh, and then all the cast, which is a bunch of us. And it was yeah. just this dingy. Well, at least our light was it's bright. It's like you walk in there and it just looked gray. <laughs> it's like in our room it's in color, and then here it's like, oh yeah, don't want to go in there. We, that we, is we literally our, exactly. We each had our own desk with things on it. Oh, they yep, were just yep. on a shared table, like just like <laughs> get in there, folding do your chairs, work. And folding tables, like <laughs> dang, it was brutal. You open the door and they all just look up. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, oh we my were gosh. spoiled babies. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. That felt weirdly powerful to get an adult fired. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And I thought I'd have a thirst it's... that just continued. I'm like, oh yeah, we're firing all these people. Yeah. <laughs> but then we just got some good teachers. Turns and, out, yeah. you don't have to get them all fired. You just right. need to find the ones that work for you. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think you know our quest for justice is we, what we're talking about we yeah, we, yeah. we really <laughs> we it really vigilantes. was about yeah. we were vigil- we were three little batmen yeah uh cuz really it was it was about like it wasn't right 
we weren't being treated right. And mm-hmm. then of course, yeah, we got Scott. And even though you antagonized Scott, that was for fun. But he loved mm-hmm. me too. Yeah, he yeah. What? No, no, no. Yeah, he loved sure. me even yeah, more yeah. for fully. all of the fully. Uh. And honestly, Tomfoolery. honestly, Scott needed a little. Uh, Right? He needed a little he friction. Little he needed a little spice. Yeah, we needed to spice things up yeah. for him. You know what was the best, though? What's that? When you, who eternally needed to bank hours and go to school. Yeah. And we, like, and I would have to do my my turnaround and close up to a tennis ball. Oh, oh that's yeah, right. Devin had to go oh, to yeah. school. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh. So we shoot these five, we shoot two episodes over five days. We mm-hmm. shoot the two storylines. Um, for example, in this one, in detention, Mose is not in it a lot. So you weren't in that episode a lot. That's a bunch of time while we're shooting our detention scenes that you're banking your school hours and you're all good. Yeah. Ned was in most of the storylines in both stories. So yeah, me getting school done was a hard thing that the production had to manage. And then, yeah, I forgot about that, that I would have to go to school and you would have to act to a tennis ball well, like, and, and a stand, like Adam reading my lines. So why do I remember the tennis ball? like? Why wasn't Adam just there? It was, a, I for sure remember well, usually, one usually, usually it was so close to camera that like, oh, they right. would just like put a right, piece right, of right, tape right, right. or a tape tennis or ball. A right, and, um, and act, acting to the tape and to the tennis ball. That's okay. true. You did have to learn, like I heard like, I forget, some actor shared about like working with Tom Hanks that like he's there off camera, like giving you lines. And even if he's sitting on an Apple box or whatever, like he's there for you as mm-hmm, an actor mm-hmm. and not, all are, um, we had a lot where it wasn't even about being a dick. It was just like, they gotta go to school. So read your lines to this mm-hmm. piece of tape, mm-hmm. have fun. Yeah. 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 yeah, but honestly, it probably was better because when another actor was on the other side. They'd camera, be making faces trying to, you you, trying to throw you off your game. trying to throw you off. Yeah, the tape was always better. The it was tape was better because you could just hold it down. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that works on a show like Ned's. Like, it's fine, we're, we're we were fucking around perpetually and that kind of created, you could tell we're having fun on the show, which was a good thing. But damn, looking back, I'm like, we would literally be trying to mess up our co-actors. Yeah. Like we thought that we were that, like we're ingrained into Nickelodeon, like they can't, you know what I mean? They can't do anything, yeah. Their time is ours. Yeah, yeah exactly. We're They're playing a game here. Right? I'm trying to fuck my other actors right? up exactly. because that makes me laugh. Right? Dang. I can't believe how much I broke. I'm not one to like. I don't. I don't make many blooper reels, to be really honest with you. Like since that, but I could. Maybe I do make more of them than I think now, because I wouldn't have said like I, that. I bloopered a lot on Ned's, like a little bit of laughing, but I'm always the one randomly just like. <laughs> yeah. It would in the middle a lot. of the scene where you don't even hear anything happen. Yeah. Like I'm just like. <laughs> what I mean. I love that they decided to include the bloopers yep. in the credits of the episode. Yep. It's, it's just show. F- it's so fun it's to see. So it just gives you an insight, like, oh look how much fun they're having. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was real. Mm-hmm. We had mad bloopers. Mm-hmm. Facts, um, do you guys remember? I had kind of forgotten about this until starting this pod back up and rewatching. We, I forget the timeline of it, but like when we would wrap, I feel like on Friday nights. Whatever episode they had got done oh, they editing, would show it. Yeah. we would yeah. watch it in the gym. They mm-hmm. would like yeah, wheel out a fucking fun. VHS, like a huge yeah. VHS television cart, on a it. cart, and we'd Bruh. sit in the gym on the bleachers as cast and crew. And uh, you know, a lot of crew would leave because it'd be the end of the day and they want to go home. But like for us, yeah. it was so fun. We got to see the episodes that they would edit. Yeah, yeah. Um, as yeah. much of it as they had. Like some some scenes were like missing. Some yeah, sure. If there were visual effects that weren't in, like some shit was missing. But mm-hmm. I I had forgotten about that until like doing this. That like, oh, that was so fun. We got to like watch and celebrate. Like, oh, that joke was hilarious. Yeah. And like, you crushed that. It was, it was just such an all encompassing experience. Like all the way around. Like like professionally satisfying, personally satisfying. Like, yeah. We all got to root each other on. Dude, our like, table reads too. I oh, had a great fun. time doing those table reads. So good. What days were the table? reads on Tuesdays I think they're on like Tuesdays I okay. think yeah they were yeah. midweek they were midweek some point if you just get around oh, maybe that later yeah. maybe Thursday like it was like yeah midweek because then they had to like deal with it until Monday yeah um See what but yeah get around the table read the next week's episode I loved that those moments man seeing what worked what didn't yes like, yeah you right. got to kind of like try things out I mean it's why the writers do it is like all right let's get the next episode on its feet Let's see what works. Let's see what doesn't. And of course, again, we're being led by Scott Fellows. Yeah. So he's like leading the table read with his crazy Scott Fellows energy. So yeah. 
Of course it was a good time. I mean, and I feel like that mattered because it put everyone on one accord. Everyone's on the same page and they're understanding how he wants these jokes to flow. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. so there's not really a question there. And, and you know, sometimes he would address it and say, wait, wait, take that back. And, yep. Mm -hmm. A good captain of the ship. He kept boundaries throughout the entire thing that yep. we became, that we just became norms and defaults. Yeah, I it's, feel like. I mean, this is the same for any, this is the same for normal jobs too. Who's ever at the head of it, it's just gonna set yep. the whole tone. Mm -hmm. If you have someone who doesn't know what it is to be a leader, if you have someone with whatever interpersonal flaws that they don't know how to be responsible for in a leadership position, like, you know, I've had Come shitty out. bosses before. Like it, it happens and it changes the whole atmosphere if at the top it's like not good. Um, and we got blessed. Yeah. We got blessed with a Scott Fellows. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wonder how all the directors felt because. <laughs> Oh he yeah, he was, was a little because, infringy. Yeah, because it was Scott's show and yeah. he would direct dictate, a lot of it. direct yeah. a lot, even, no matter who the director was. Yeah, he's like, kind of like, do you want the check or not? I'm really just paying <laughs> you to be here. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how that was for them. But for Wrong. Us, yeah, wrong, frame it differently, say it differently. Bruh. But he would always do it, I mean, at least to us, he would do it in a way that I was fine. Like if he gave me a line read, I'd be like, cool, let's yeah, do it, let's same. go. Yeah. Cause he was funny. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was like, oh, that's hilarious. I'm gonna sound stupid. Why is it called a podcast? What's the pod? Po like, a podcast. Was a it because I listened to it on an iPod at one time? A po iPod, for those of you who are too young to remember, was a device that you could listen to music on. That's true. And it started on with like Apple and digital, <laughs> right? Uh, I think so. A yeah, podcast. podcast. I think Why is it a pod? I've never thought about this, that Daniel. That makes sense, pod. <laughs> And then cast, yeah, then there's a your cast. cast. Well, and you're casting, casting it. it out. You're casting it out. <laughs> However you want to look at it. Yeah, like a broadcast. Oh, it has to oh, be a broad broadcast. Broadcast. So it's not broad, it's on the pod, not the broad. Not broadcast, it's a podcast. <laughs> what else happened in the episode? Oh, Nothing. He just snapped our glasses and then just- Yeah, no, we're scared, we're scared of the We're scared of the <laughs> bullies. you're about to get hit with it. And then yeah, he's like, I'm gonna, with I'm gonna the thing. you up, Cookie, or something. Some <laughs> yeah. And, then, and then what was the question that you asked? Excuse me? Sweeney. Excuse me? What is the question that you asked Sweeney? Oh, I asked him what is- Science. 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 Yes. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Wait, don't leave. Speak. I have a question. <laughs> yep. What is science? science. And yes. he loves it, it because- It's perfect. He's a science teacher. He's mm -hmm. a science guy. Yep. And then he tries to teach me it. I don't care. You're yeah. strapping him to a makeshift- Yeah, uh, paperclip, right? Paperclip chain to pull oh. us out to the toilet with him, which would have gotten weird sound. if it- physically sound. Yes, physically sound plan. Yeah. Would have gotten weird if it played out. Yeah. We'd be in the bathroom with him. Oh, right? well, well dang. Would have crossed the boundaries at a certain point. Interesting point. point. <laughs> Nickelodeon, I see what you did up. here. Couldn't have you? He wasn't moving at <laughs> light speed. <laughs> yeah. Listen, it was foolproof. Foolproof. That was, that was hijinks, <laughs> man. Oh, man. Back to yes. the- How are your poops today, Linz? Um, no, I'm not going there. I'm gonna, I'm you gonna refuse to, to, you refuse to bring this back so to shit? What's what's new detention? Jail, right? Anyone? Excuse you guys me? had any stints in in the penal colony? <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I had to. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I actually. I mean, if you were really... going through a really bad time, got picked up in North Hollywood. <laughs> oh, but yeah? because I was acting a fool and talking a fool, they took me to that mental place oh. instead of being arrested and going to jail, oh. which I, I super appreciated. If, if, nice. If I don't think I could have survived a night in jail. If, like I'm just not that girl. You could have. You could have. Yeah, I, obviously I could have and you would have. <laughs> yeah, you could have um, and you would have. I would have. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can tell this story on the pod. I, I got a DUI, I went to jail. Yeah, never never came out, but yeah, I got a DUI How and I went know? to jail. When? I think I was 18 or 19. It, I remember. It was, it was the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Mm. I got pulled over uh, for speeding. Oh no. Dude. I was, was it in your Scion? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the only yeah. car I've ever owned. That's, I'm driving it here, so it was in there. Um I <laughs> Yeah, this never came out, so enjoy babies. Um enjoy Ned, Ned heads. Ned heads. <laughs> enjoy my dirty little tail. No. Um yeah, I got arrested. Uh uh <laughs> I I was for real I detention, was, adult detention. Yeah, this was this was a uh, <laughs> big boy detention. Um, mm. I was under the legal limit if you're 21 but I was 18, mm. so any, you blow any, they're taking you in. Um, so it was 
this always happens, I, I hear from people, it was like a mile from my house, which is always, oh. when I, like I was almost home. Uh, so yeah, I wasn't driving ridiculous, but I was yeah. over any amount. I think I was like 0.07, but any amount is a problem. Um, they took me to downtown. Anytime I drive by this jail, they took me to like, sometimes they take you to like a local station. No, they took me to Twin Towers is what it's called. It's mm. it's the jail downtown. That's is, where Adam was. Yo, what? I know. No, that that is a place where both they have the drunk tank and the real like jail, people yeah. are there for four or five months, six months, couple years. Like it was, it was pretty serious, man. Like that was quite the experience. I was down there in the drunk tank. Did you cry? I didn't cry, but I was just quiet and just like shocked. There was this moment when they were processing me. Um, so the cops, I had the one cop who was like the young trainee who obviously had empathy and compassion for me, thank goodness. And then he was being trained by like this veteran, like hard ass, like yeah. you gotta fuck with this kid. Um, and I feel like if that veteran wasn't there, the guy might have let me off with a warning. There's different things that can happen when you're under the age limit. Sometimes they don't send you to, to jail. They give you the ticket. You're going to get in trouble for it, but they'll call some, someone to pick you up. Like mm -hmm. they get to choose how this goes. But because that older cop was there, this guy took me downtown. Um, they put me in the back seat with like a dude with like spider tattoos on his knees. Like I was locked in the back seat right. with like some dude. You Uber pulled to jail? Yeah, they you they Uber pulled? they Uber pulled me. It's to, like, hey, we to got jail. another pickup. Stop <laughs> it! Stop. Yeah, they Uber pulled me to jail. How's that even like legal or safe? Yeah, I was I was like a little boy. Wait, with, were you with, were you handcuffed? Yeah, yeah, was the Ooh, other yeah. Guy they handcuffed you. I think you. so. Yeah, and he, yeah, like hey. he was rough. Got put into this one. Uh, oh no! Before I got put into the tank, the the young cop, the veteran had left. The young cops processing all the paperwork and all the shit. Um, I had a fake ID at the time Ooh. and it was in a particular flap in my wallet. And I remember this moment, dude, I'm sitting there just quiet. No one's in the, the, whatever, the police station, like he's doing paperwork. He's dealing with my things. He, I'm sitting there, he flips open the wallet and I see the extra flap like open up and I see him stop for a second, realize what he just saw, which is like oh. a second ID and he already has my ID. And I, <laughs> He he double takes, he opens the flap, he sees the fake, he looks at me, and I just looked away, just oh. with like horror oh. in my eyes. And thank God, he just shook his head, didn't take the fake ID, he put it in the bag that I'm gonna get back when I get out. Like I got it back when I got out. That a, a, a fake ID can be a felony. Like it can yeah. be it can be a much bigger charge than just like a DUI. Um, so he took compassion on me. Thank God. He looked well, at me. What an idiot. He at least should have cut it up. That's what he could have done. But I think then he has to like oh, deal be, with, be, you know what I right, mean? Right, like, right, right, I think right. the smoothest, smoothest thing was just like. And turn your head away. Yeah. Right. And thank yeah. God, because that could have been a bigger thing. Um, but yeah, so then they put me in like a group oh, yeah. jail t with, with adults, man. And there was one kind of like scary guy. Wait, how old were you at the time? Like 18, 18. 19. Oh, you're but an adult. I looked, I was an adult, <laughs> yeah, go but ahead. I looked 15. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, I looked like a little baby boy. Uh, so then, then what happened, like it was hours. It was long. It was late at night. Then you get put, I got put into like the big drunk tank and you're kind of just waiting to be processed and released. I guess there's a certain amount of hours when you have a DUI, they put you in the system. Eventually the system kicks you to the, hey, it's time for you to go. Um, so you're just there waiting with no daylight. Don't know what the fuck time it is. Like disoriented, hard to sleep, obviously. And you're waiting for an unspecified amount unspecified of time. Unspecified amount that of time. Is... You don't know how long you're gonna be in there. The phone system is absolute horseshit. Uh, it's so difficult, but eventually I got, I called my sister. It's one number that I had, called my sister. Yeah. And of course it lets her know like jail is calling you. And so she like shit her pants no. and it says my name, like Devin. Um, <laughs> and, and, and I tell her like- Would you like, like to accept the charge? Yeah, yeah would you, uh, this is a call from LA Correctional Facility. <laughs> Devin, just a little sad voice. So, so she, it's like the middle of the night. It's like 5 a.m. She said like, she's shitting her pants because I call her obviously to try and avoid my parents. Um, but she said she didn't know what to do. So she has to wake up my mom. And they, on their end, they have to start dealing with how to get me out, getting me a lawyer, all this shit. I'm just in there. I don't know the phone system. I could barely hear her. I didn't know what got through. So then I'm sitting there for an unspecified <laughs> amount of time. Uh, it's, it's pretty horrifying. Mm -hmm. 
But then there was also this moment where it was like a little bit like the Breakfast Club, where like everyone, everyone's still a little drunk. I kind of wasn't at that point, but like some people got arrested at like 1.4 blood alcohol, like, right. uh, like or 0. 0.14, like they were still drunk. So there was kind of still a buzz in the air for a moment where like everyone's sharing kind of how they got pulled over and oh, like it yeah. started to open up a little bit. All these like grown ass men. At a certain point, one of the dudes looked over at me and made a joke, which was so funny. He was like, man, look at how, how fuck old are you? Like, you look like you should be on the Disney channel or something. And I was like, oh, uh-huh. The thing is. Uh-huh. Some of them were like in real trouble. Like one of the dudes was like, this is my third strike. Like he's gonna go to jail for a while after this. One of the dudes was like, I totaled my cousin's car. Like oh, there was some okay. shit, dude. So once the breakfast club thing opened up, like everyone wore off their buzz and then it dipped. To the hangovers? Yes. Nice. Then it was just sad and quiet <laughs> and like, oh. and just time passing it. And I'm sitting there processing like my whole life, you know, like, yeah. I don't know what's gonna what happen to when career, I get out, my career, then, yeah. like, what this means, what this looked like, my family, like yeah. all of this the shit. The mystery and uncertainty, I'm sure. Dude, that's I, what's I horrifying. can't imagine each minute. Like, that, yeah. uh, and I would I would knock out for a little bit, like sleep for a little bit, and then you wake up and you don't know <laughs> I how I wanna wake long. up in my bed at home, oh God. <laughs> We're no, still here. And you wake up and you don't know how long you, you've yeah, been how there. How long have been out? Um, and, and, <laughs> That was a weird sound. I've never sounded like that. <laughs> but yeah. Um, they were pulling people one by one to get processed, do their fingerprints. Yeah. I like never got pulled and it was weird. It had been it had been a long time. It had been hours. And like it, it got weird. They start pulling people also to like leave. Like certain people get to leave. Um, so I don't know. It was all weird. At a certain point, they they called on me and they took me to the the next place where you go to get let out, which okay. is which is this hallway of rooms that everyone is in there who's in the queue to get out. Okay. So this is people who have been in there for months for different shit. Oh, like yeah, yeah. then I was in a room where I was like, oh, this just got more serious. Like some this isn't criminals. the drunk tank. Like some of these do like it was not, it was not chill. And you know, I look like a little baby boy at 18. I still yeah. look 15. Like yeah. I'm a little... they were on their best behavior though. I'm sure they don't want to go back. Yeah, in. no one's trying to go back. But it was like, holy shit! Like I'm now here with like people yeah. who have been in here for months, maybe a year. Like, and now we're in this waiting space to get out. When I finally got out, there was a, a very famous celebrity lawyer there named Mark Garagos. Thank you, sir. Yes. Um, paid you a lot of money, but thank you, sir. <laughs> um, <laughs> who had gotten me out and. He said, like, Devin, if I hadn't have called, he's like, I had to make them find you in the system. Something happened where they forgot to process me. So I wasn't in, even in the system. I wasn't in the queue to get out. And this was the Wednesday of Thanksgiving now. Um, <gasps> if if, if, if he out, didn't get me out, if he didn't get me out that day, I would have been in there for days, dude. It That was mind blowing. And so, yeah, he got me out. Um, he drove me to his office and then because it's Thanksgiving, my fucking grandmother picked me up. Like my grandmother from Pennsylvania was in town oh. and like my grandmother picked me up it's from okay, fucking Dad. jail. And honestly, that's what yeah. she was so sweet. That's actually so she was beautiful. Like, it's okay. She literally was like, it's what a okay, dream. That's, you know, That is support. She, that was, is a, she was a sweetie support. pie. My parents, not happy. happy. Right, right. <laughs> Not happy with your boy. It. Dude, yeah. No, yeah, that was a rough Thanksgiving. Thanks, were... Devin, you ruined Thanksgiving. B bruh. And that was one of the only Thanksgivings that I didn't come over. Yeah, because huh? we all, yeah, I mean. We would we always go to Devin's for Thanksgiving. Yeah, you didn't come for that one, but we still had like 14 people. We still had friends and guests oh, over. Did? And they were just shitting on me the whole time. Dang. They were just shitting on me and getting drunk. <laughs> Well, and I was just there being shamed, but rightfully so. Yeah. I mean, I fucked up. I fucked up. I have a lot of had a lot of blessings in my life, and this was like not honoring my parents. You know, this was not. Mm -hmm. doing well. I got out of it clean. Yeah. I got out because of that lawyer. Uh, it never went on my record. I had to mm. pay money, and I lost my license for a year, which was mm. the punishment that kept on giving. Mm. At eighteen, nineteen, having my mom drive me to auditions again, have my girlfriend have to pick me up for dates. I can't Molly. drive. Hey, Molly, yeah. Mm. Um, that was a rough year without the license, but it didn't go on my record. It never came out in the press. Um, 
Stuff. In hindsight, I kind of wish it did come out in the press. It might have changed my image. It might have <laughs> made it cooler. Oh, yeah. you know, I needed a little edge. I was too. Yeah. I was too nice. You I mean, I should have to go to it. detention to get validation, people. People at home. Whoa! Watching. You don't have to be. A you don't have bad to be a bad guy. Bad guy to get validation. Although it probably would have helped my career. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just yeah. kidding. No, it might have not. Might have not. I'm it's never too late to out. test it out. You know, you can always go back. Um, I am like floored the number of times that I drove just and not even with alcohol just like on any substance like mushrooms edit, like anything and your never... first hit and run you explained in the last podcast yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 this no is no you were so i was literally coming no, yeah, back from yeah, devin's from making was, out i was yeah, on a make out this was ned's time we didn't yeah. we weren't we weren't I doing was, anything i was on always Ned's. drunk coming home from devin's <laughs> <laughs> I never that left after Devin's Ned's. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. It was during Ned's. Yeah, yeah. when Ned's. we were like, well, not during, but right, right after, after when, when we wrapped we were and we were like dating, making we out for that you know, you know, nice. little period. Laying the smack down. That's right. <laughs> Good stuff. And yeah, <laughs> anyway. but I, I. I uh, oh it it was a good one lesson. time okay one time I was driving back from your house too and I drove all, would, lived all the way in Santa Clarita yeah, right so I had to far. take like two two freeways to get back home and so I'm on this one and I'm already late for curfew and this police officer is going back and forth across the lanes like oh. it's a police oh, yeah, stop and I'm just like what the fuck and I just <laughs> you go I just past. Kept going. Oh no. Oh yeah. People might not know this. I don't think it happens in every city, but in <laughs> I had LA, no idea. I was like, the what? in LA, what? cops do this thing. If there's like, say, there's like debris on the road that they need to clear, um, cops will do this thing where it's they get traffic. at a point in traffic and they weave across all five lanes to stop the traffic for a moment. And it's weird when it's happening in front of you. You're like, what and, the uh, fuck? I'm on a freeway. All I knew is I gotta get home, dude. My mom is gonna. So come you're in. just trying to scoot so they, past the. They cops. go over the loudspeaker, right? <laughs> Right? Ma'am, pull over. Obviously, the thing on the road was secondary now at this point. Yeah. They pulled me over at the next stop. Dang. Yeah, they did. And I remember this whole operation. I had drank a beer, like a beer, right? And like, I think I had smoked Scared. some whatever. And weed, not crack. You can say it. It's and best that you say it. It's better. Like, no, I, I, I just <laughs> started sobbing. Oh. Sobbing. But oh, not no. because I was trying to get out of anything. Like, I was seriously like, just sobbing yeah you and he i he like so, we were under this freeway overpass and he like comes to the window and he's like are you okay and like and i was like yeah i've just never been in trouble like this before and i'm just trying to get home and he's like all right stay safe and never do that again yeah Dope. it was amazing warning. and then the last time i was i was super stoned and a little bit drunk driving in Malibu. The car that I had at that point, the registration was expired. My license was expired. Oh my God. Um, Lindsay, no. I ha was ashing in a wine bottle that was open in the no, car, no, smoking a J. No, and I no. get stopped by this Malibu trooper and he, oh my God, he comes to the car and he's like, ma'am, how much weed is in the car? And I tell him the amount and he's like, all right, step out of the car. And then I go, I'm so sorry, I lied. There's like three more joints in my pocket, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and he's like, uh, all right, ma'am, uh, turn around. And he like puts me like under arrest and I'm just like, once again, oh, I just start sobbing. Dang. And he puts me in the back of the car and he like runs the thing. And he's literally like, I'm sobbing and I'm just like, just being like, I know that my choices in my life right now just aren't, I'm just having this out loud diary moment. And he goes, is there anything else in the car? And I was like, and he goes, turn around and get the fuck out of Malibu and don't come back here. Dang. Stay out of Malibu, Lebowski. Wow. Get the fuck out of my beach town, Lebowski. Right? Like that was it. He, yeah. And he goes, he goes, the register, like, you're going to get caught. And I sold that car, like, the next day. Because it was, <laughs> oh, like, dude, just a piece of crap. You are so lucky. I, that so is good. so that many. No. Yeah. That is so many issues. I know. In and one. big, big issues. Big, big, dri I mean, driving with an expired dude, license, they I, can really do I some I shit. I also, like, the, the reason I don't have a car now, fuck, backed into a lady and should have been arrested was by the lady a in police a car, officer. Was she... Yeah, no, she was in a car. Okay. Should have been arrested there for DUI. A tow truck who scans like the area came upon us before the cops and took my car to the body shop with me. I had this like blackout rage in the bathroom because I was just drunk and it was coming in and out of like whatever. No. Nothing happened. I sold that car too, like right on the spot at that auto shop. 
and just went like that by the end of the day. Oh, hey, clean Jesus. getaway. Nice. So I know that something is like, I'm trying Don't to give it. you a chance. Yes. Yeah, oh, take yeah, it. Take the chance. I, I, take the I chance. took it. Mine, mine was like, I, that semi glad it happened because it happened pretty gently, like 0.07. Um, didn't get out publicly. Right. That, wasn't on my record. Like that kind of got off. But had enough of a punishment with my family, with the license gone for a year, with the money, like with had having to of, stay in jail. That all of that was enough that it did like rearrange my fucking priorities. I might have been getting a little too, you know. We all like go through pushing push boundaries them, yeah. as as teenagers. Some push them just well a past. Bit yeah, some years. like Lindsay push yeah. way further than right. you need to. Yeah, but but we uh, all do it. There's a there's a level that you have to. Um, and and this push back in a way that was like good learning for me. It 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 also humbled me with my parents. I was becoming a little bit of an asshole with right. my parents. It was that it was that time of my yeah, life where I'm like totally. I'm independent, even though I'm not. Huh. I need them. I still live with yeah. them. Like all these totally. things, and so it did correct my like it did adjust me in the right way so i'm actually like that was one of those life things that was like okay let me not do that shit again did you pee or poop there <laughs> okay good I, question. I don't think i don't remember i don't think i pooped but yeah the toilet is in that room that group room that we're all in there's just a fucking toilet dang there's just a toilet i think there's like a half a wall so if you want to poop you can still make eye contact with everyone, but they don't see your poop. I, I think. It, uh, like, it's oh, just, it's like the half thing? Yeah, yeah. but it's yeah. like, it's just in the room, dude. It's yeah. just there with you. You're all in the room and like. I want to make a short film about that. Just like the eye contact through a cell. Dude, dude, not even through a cell. You're just, you're just in a big room with everyone. Just like, yeah. Look away, spider knees. I know you smell me. I know you smell me, dog. Yeah, you like that smell, spider knees? <laughs> Wait, was the smell horrendous? So I just remember just the, just the quiet shame and terror that right, everyone was feeling. Right. So some people did get up and take poops. I think you. so. Yeah, I think you had to. Yeah. We were in there. I mean, I think it's I, interesting. I think I was in there like 14 hours or something. Like you got to poop at some point. But I don't think I did. Listen, right. remember, I never pooped in school. I was. Oh, yeah. I was he's like, I'm holding it. Shit, son. My, <laughs> that shit Grandma shut. gets there and he's like, take me to the bathroom, <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> Grandma, I need to poop. I've been holding this in for 14 hours. Dang. <laughs> Give me a cigarette. I got to take a shit. <laughs> Yo, my nervous oh bowels would have betrayed me for sure. So, so would a Daniel's. We <laughs> heard that hey, that's I'm sorry. Hey, I'm going. Nerves. I'm, I'm taking my shit, guys. Y'all right? deal with it. Dude, what a weird experience. <laughs> Let's wrap this thing up. I think the tip of this episode don't for me is don't drink and drive. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, that's, no, and I mean that so, so yeah, seriously. That's, like. Yeah. Is you don't have to look do back it. at your past and unpack it a little bit and I'm, take responsibility this, this, for those yeah. things. This was pre-Uber. Right. Uber is a blessing. Well, some of yours weren't. But <laughs> she's like, I just chose. I was to like, do don't it. do that, man. Don't drink and drive. Yeah, don't drink and drive, guys. Don't, no, don't, it's no, it's don't it's, it's, it's don't it's meth horrible. and drive either. It can, it can yeah. literally ruin don't, your don't life. Don't meth and drive. Don't coke and drive. Don't don't do don't, any don't, and drive. Just it's it's scary. It's really really scary. Like to yeah. have to wake up and check your car the next day. Dude. Like, cause you don't know how you got home. And I have had friends who got DUIs under way more extreme circumstances. Like luckily no, no injuring people, but like a buddy of mine got his DUI. He drunken, like he was way drunk and crashed into a parked car, like, and bad, like totaled both cars. Like wow. that's a different yep. experience. Like, yeah, do not test those limits. It's not worth it. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this episode. If you want more content, if this wasn't enough for you, make sure you subscribe to our Patreon to get all the bonus goodies.